A huge cheeto was rushing at the girl. He would reach her any second. Only a reckless person would dare enter a cage with a cheetah. What prompted the young girl to do such a thing? Animals remember the good that was once given to them by man, but how will they repay it? Will they remember someone who was once kind to them, or will their predatory instinct take over? This is what our story today is about. Helga worked in a small zoo where there were no rare or exotic animals, so it was very exciting when they received a cheetah. However, after just a few days in his new home, the cheetah's health began to decline. At first, he refused to eat, then he just stopped moving around altogether. Zoo staff were worried about him, so they contacted a veterinarian from another city to come examine the cheetah and try to identify the problem. When the veterinarian arrived and did some tests, he diagnosed the cheetah with pneumonia. Most likely, the cheetah had caught it during transport, and he now needed full treatment. Unfortunately, the only way to administer medicine was via food and water, which the animal refused. Then Helga came up with an idea. She offered to hand-feed the cheetah, hoping he would accept food directly offered to him. The authorities were against this idea because it would be dangerous to both the girl and the cheetah. However, Helga secretly carried out her plan. She took a large piece of meat and carefully opened the cage door. The cheetah didn't even raise his ears. He lay there indifferently, staring into space, not even turning around as the girl approached. Helga sat down next to the beast and held out her hand with the fresh meat. The cheetah sniffed the air but did not turn his head. Then she dipped the meat into his water and again attempted to offer it to him, almost touching his nose with her hand. The cheetah then gently licked the meat and then immediately swallowed the piece whole. Helga was so happy and she praised the cheetah before exiting the cage. The next day, the girl did the same thing. After the second successful attempt, Helga decided to tell her superiors about what she had done and asked for medicine to treat the cheetah. Of course, everyone was shocked by the recklessness of the girl, but they nevertheless allowed her to do it again with the medicine. The cheetah would eat whenever she fed him and began to recover. Helga continued to fearlessly enter the cage and the animal never showed any aggression. On the contrary, he gratefully licked her hands and purred like a kitten. After the cheetah fully recovered, something happened that Helga did not expect. The animal was taken to work in the circus. She cried when he was taken away and the cheetah paced his enclosure restlessly as if he understood what was happening. They both took the breakup very hard. Four years passed. Helga was still working at the zoo when several circus animals were brought in for treatment. One of these animals was a blind cheetah who had lost his sight a couple of years prior due to illness. It was decided he would stop being used in the circus to entertain audiences and he would live out the rest of his days in the zoo. Helga was so excited she ran to the cheetah's cage. She was hoping it was her cheetah. As she approached, she was unable to recognize the thin and frightened animal. However, she proceeded to open the cage door. Once inside, she began to talk to the cheetah, slowly approaching him. At that moment, the blind animal turned to the voice of the girl and with the last of his strength began to rush straight towards her. Everyone who was watching screamed, assuming they were about to witness a wild animal tear a young girl apart. But soon, everyone was surprised to see him fall to the ground right before her, then carefully crawl towards her. He even purred. It was clear that this was her cheetah. True, he was no longer able to see, but he recognized her scent and the sound of her voice. They embraced for a long time and remained best friends until his death. So friends, even after four long years and having suffered a serious illness within the circus, the cheetah did not forget his savior and friend, Helga. He remembered her, remembered her care and kindness, and repaid her with the same kindness. Do good deeds more often, and goodness will surely return to you.